Hey guys, it's Louise here and welcome back to my channel. So, this is it guys, it's the finale. I'm not ready. It feels like it, it only started like two weeks ago. Like, it feels like it shouldn't be the finale yet, but we're here. It's This is it. This is the final episode of Mando Season 3. Um, obviously, this isn't the last season, which is good. Um, so, I don't know if we're going to get a cheeky little announcement at the end of this episode like we did last time, um, or what's going to happen. Um, yeah, I've had so many theories going through my head of what's going to happen and so many thoughts and worries and fears and all this kind of stuff. And at this point, I don't know what the fuck's going on. I don't think we're going to save Finn in this episode. Um, I feel like it's going to be a cliffhanger of some kind. And I feel like we're going to like spend next season more with Grogu, maybe. Um, like trying to train up and try to get Din back somehow. Like maybe it's going to turn into be like an Ezra and Thrawn situation. <laughs> But Moff, Gideon, and Din. I don't know why. I don't really know what the what the, the thing is. Also, look at my shirt, guys. It says, no squeezy, bad bibby. And I love it. It's my Star Wars celebration shirt. Anyway, um, I'm stalling because I'm scared. So let's just get into the episode. I'm really, I'm really nervous, guys. You know, I really hope it's like nothing like super sad that happens because I am leaving in like three hours to get a flight. I don't have time to be crying my fucking eyes out. <laughs> Din, buddy, your feet are tied up. What are you gonna do? Oh, yeah, okay, sure, that works. Oi! Okay, I'm sorry, but how is Din's cape not setting on fire? Is it fireproof? Din! Oh, fuck. He had us in the first half, thought he was gonna get away. No! Din! No. Yes! No. How the fuck did no. you get there, Grogu? What the fuck? Let's go! Help me up. <laughs> Will you cut me loose? Yes. No! <laughs> Thank you for your help. I'm gonna need you to be brave for me, okay? We can't keep running. You with me? Oh, his little nod. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I am already crying, but still, shut up. <laughs> you know, I didn't think you'd get rescued this easily. I mean, it's not over yet, but still, I thought we'd at least see a bit of a, a bit of an interrogation. Honestly. Come in. You have a location. No. You know what? Taking their jetpack. Great no, idea. Jetpack. I have to get the troops to safety. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Was Moth? The fighters and bombers was Gideon bombs. expecting Din to get destroyed. rescued? But the Mandalorian has escaped. No, I'll take oh. care of him myself. Oh. Badass. Oh. Oh. Sorry, I don't speak binary. I don't speak binary either. Those who get it, get it. <laughs> Let's go, R5. Holy shit, man's just going for it. Beeping nervously, that's adorable. Don't look down, R5. And people say droids don't have emotions. Okay, yeah, Axe is definitely not the spy. Damn, he's serious. Unless he's getting rid of everyone. To... No, he seems serious. He seems legit. Oh man, is Axe gonna get sacrificed in the ship? Oh fuck, he's going down with a ship. But that's such a cool ship though. That that painting of the mythosaur underneath would have taken so long. Do you know how long that took, Sabine? Oh my god, this is crazy. The command center is down there. Oh, what if he like gets a hologram thing in the thing from like Thrawn? Or five. Oh. 
No knife for you, Din. I love this. He's like doing it in waves. That's awesome. <laughs> God, I love getting more Din fighting action. New weapon acquired. Let's go. And a shield. Fuck yeah, Din. Uh-oh. No, 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 not the Moistroid. Oh my god. I've never seen a Moistroid with a siren go off before. R5, come on, buddy. Come on. Oh. oh, nice little knee slide. Cheeky. Nice work, Din. R5. Good job, buddy. Oh, he complimented a droid. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, not the mice droid, please. R5. What are they gonna do? <laughs> Later, losers. <laughs> I hope Din isn't gonna need him again. You know, I hope to see Grogu using some, like, weapons. Like, if they have to fight Gideon. Ow. Oh. We're not going to get a close look at them. I want a close up look at them. I want to see who it is. I don't know if we're going to know, but I want to know who it is. That's not Gideon. Oh, Gideon clone. Don't open your eyes. Oh, fuck me. Jesus Christ. Oh my God, are all his clones going to wake up? Oh my god. Oh, that was, that was, that was horror shit right there. I didn't like that. We've taken refuge in these surface caves since the purge. This is pretty. Wow. Lady Cree, your reinforcements have arrived. Nice. Oh, I want to see the armor bonk some more heads again with her hammer. Fuck yeah, let's go, Bo! Oh, that looks epic. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, this is so fun. The best parts of me, but improved by adding the one thing I never had. The Force. I was isolating the potential to wield the Force. And incorporating it into an unstoppable army. Force-wielding Moff Gideon army, that's terrifying. Smothered them before they could draw their first breath. Oh, he's angry. Oh, he's angry. Oh, Lord. You know, this is much different from their original fight. <laughs> oh. oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, my God. More of these guys. Fuck. Din! Come on, Grogu! No, He's like, oh, no! no. <laughs> Grogu, no! <laughs> no! It's okay, it's okay. They're not gonna kill Grogu, it's fine. They're not gonna kill Grogu. They're not gonna kill Grogu, it's fine. They're gonna save him, it's gonna be okay. They're gonna help him. Well, RIP IG-12, I guess.
Nice one. I love seeing her use the jetpack and the dark saber at the same time. Oh, let's go. I've got this. Go save your kid. No, like, this is a fight I want to see as well. Or fight. Oh. <laughs> I can't set Bo up like this then kill her, right, surely. I'm so nervous, I'm so scared. Oh The best father and son duo ever. Dude, let me see Grogu wield that thing. <laughs> oh my god. See, it's annoying because I don't want Moff Gideon to die either because he's cool. <laughs> he really said if you can't have it, if I can't have it, you can't have it. Oh, dude! You Chill! Everything. Mandalorians are stronger together. <laughs> Uh, Bo, then, um, 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 you might want to get out of there. Good lord. Oh, Kroger's little slide. Oh, nice one. Oh, the way they protected him. Oh, he's so wonderful! And there he goes. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> I said I didn't want to cry. Where are my name and the names of the ancestors? Oh my god, he brings like every creature. He brought the big dragons, he brought the alligator. The motherfucking mythosaur has to come out now. <laughs> he doesn't catch a brick. Is Grogu gonna go in the waters? He is no longer a foundling. Add him to the song. He is too young to speak, so he is too young to take the creed. If his parent gave permission, couldn't he then become a Mandalorian apprentice? Say it, Din. Say it, Din. Then I will adopt him as my own. <laughs> this is the way. This is the fucking way! This is the way! Let it be written in song that Din Djarin is accepting this foundling as his son. You are now Din Grogu, Mandalorian apprentice. Din <laughs> Grogu! Din Grogu! journey, just as your teacher did for you. Is he connecting with the fucking mythosaur? <laughs> Open his eyes. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Dude, Grogu is so gonna tame him. Grogu is gonna be the one. That has to be the confirmation right there. Like, it's gonna... Oh my god. Oh, I'm so happy they've got Mandalore back, though.
I thought it was gonna get like dragged in the next season and we we're gonna have to wait, but fair enough. <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Zab, give us Zab, give us Zab again. Oh my god. Let me get this straight. You want to work for the New Republic? On a case by case basis, an independent contractor. You know, this is against regulation. But they're going to do it. Which is why you won't tell them. Let me think about it. You already did. <laughs> a good deal and you know it. What I want in return is that. A scrap assassin droid head? I need it for parts. <laughs> He's still stuck on the idea. I see a gonk droid! People of Navarro, if they do this deed... Oh, I'm sorry we didn't get to see Zab again. Just outside of town where you can lay low with your new family if you choose so. Oh. Between adventures. Thank you. Thanks, Grief. That's so kind of you. <gasps> the Anzellans! Greetings, citizens. <sighs> I am IG-11, your new marshal. Your new marshal of... Nevada. Marshal IG-11! I am here to serve and protect the citizenry. I am at your disposal. Yay! At your pleasure. Oh. Welcome back, IG-11. Best boy Taika, let's go! Oh, look at his little horse! Oh my god! They have a home! Oh, look at him! Oh my god! No, girl good, but the frog died! Oh, I'm so happy! That's so cute! Oh! Oh! <laughs> Oh, that was such a nice ending. That I, that ending was much nicer than a lot of us expected. <laughs> okay, but do we have after credits? No. There's no after credits? Really? There's no after credits at all? Bro, what the fuck? Really? See, that to me feels like they've just like wrapped the entire show up. Like they've they've saved Mandalore, they've saved Din and Grogu. They've given a marshal back. They, they're they like... They've got a home. Like, obviously, it's not going to be the end. But it feels like they've really set up, like, this could possibly be the last season. I know they've said it's not going to be. But that's kind of what it feels like. They Like, that, especially with no end credit scene. Uh -huh. Okay, so there's, like, a lot of thoughts and stuff about this episode. So, I absolutely loved it. Um, I feel like something was missing, maybe. I, mean, I think maybe it's just, like, having no end credit scene after the end of the season. I feel like I'm a bit like, what? where do we go now? Like, what's, what's the... Where do we progress from this? Um, like, do we just go back to Din doing little missions and stuff? I have no idea. Kind of disappointed we didn't see Zeb again. Like, they kind of set Zeb up and gave him to us. Gave him an emoji on Twitter and everything. And then they just kind of, like, bring us back to that area. And not even, like, another little pop-up from him. But that's fine. Um, Din, apparently now his name is his... Like, what what's going on with his name? I thought Grogu would become Grogu Jaren. But I guess whatever way Din's name is, Din is his family name. Um... Or maybe they just thought it sounded better, but Din, Din Grogu. Oh my god, I'm so emotional over this. He has officially adopted him as his son. He is not a father figure. He is his father. He is... Grogu is his son, and he's got a house with him. He's got a home, and he's gonna look after him and train him and help him find the way. And now Grogu knows the Mythosaur is there, because he can obviously sense him, because, you know, it's another creature. And he senses him with the Force, 100%. Um... I am kind of a, a little bit gutted that we got such a big reveal of the Mythosaur in this season and then it just kind of like, he didn't do anything other than like open his eye and be like, hmm. Which I guess is season, teasing it and setting it up for next season now that we've got Mandalore rebuilt. And well, we've got Mandalore back and we're rebuilding it. I guess that it'll be time for Grogu to learn the ways of the Force properly, learn the ways of Mandalore, and then eventually bring the Mythosaur out somehow. I have no idea, but... Darksaber is gone. Well, the hilt specifically is gone. We don't know if they managed to, like, salvage the crystal or not. Like, they could easily have the crystal and just put it in a different hilt or use it for something else. Um, 
but then again i don't know how the dark saber works i don't know what crystal it is like i i, I know it's going to be some kind of kyber crystal but i don't know specifically like how it works or what kind of like is it a black crystal is that what it is i don't know i don't know enough about the dark saber um but it'd be interesting if they did manage to keep the crystal and somehow put it in a different thing. But it was quite sad to see it go because I do like the dark saber design. I do think it's nice. And it was really nice to finally have Bo being able to wield it and then they just take it away from her. And it's like, bro, what? Uh, Moff Gideon, kind of sad. I kind of, I, I feel like he is dead. I kind of hope that he wouldn't die. Um, but I do feel like that is a good end for him, which is still quite sad. Um, I'm glad that his clones all didn't come to life. Um, I think that would have been a lot scarier if all of his clones had actually just broke out and started fighting with the force um honestly i would have actually liked to see that like as scary as it would be i would kind of like to see that i want to see force wielding moff gideon clone like that's really cool yeah it just it's just a lot of, a lot of thoughts a lot of thoughts going on uh we got officially got ig11 back which is nice um and he is now a marshal and he's gonna be doing great i'm so excited i just hope that he his like he doesn't get hacked or anything goes on a rampage that would be nice um but we've got ig11 back um it was really scary to see grogu like fighting as well like taking the guards and stuff away because i was like oh my god there's no way they're gonna kill him and uh, thankfully they didn't because i think i would have honestly just like went into my bed and not left for about i would say a year honestly i don't think i could ever recover i think i feel like i would fall out with star wars and stop watching if they killed grogu <laughs> um but yeah, I I did really uh, like enjoy the episode. Again, I would have liked for them to go get help. I would have liked Din's capture to go on a little longer. I would have liked to see him get interrogated in some kind of way. Um, like, I don't know why Moff Gideon wanted him. Like, we never had any like answer to that. Like, why did they want to capture Din? Like, what did they want from him? No interrogation. Um, you know no like struggling and trying to go get help from someone else like boba fett or something um like they gave mando so much screen time in boba F in book of boba fett i would expect them to give boba a little bit of screen time but you know it's fine i'm not complaining either way it's just what i would have liked to see but i am satisfied with what we saw because the fight with like all the mandalorians coming down and fighting all the troopers that was absolutely epic and seeing like them like the the armor like with her hammer and fucking whacking people and uh Bo with her dark saber and the rest of them just going at it it was insane i love 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 seeing them fighting midair like when they're, when they're flying and using their jetpacks i think it's awesome um and i i did enjoy din's fight with the guards and with gideon i did think that was very interesting um definitely like i said a lot different than their first ever fight that they had um although it would have been nice if din had his spear um but also with him going through like the the barriers and stuff with shout out to r5 best boy um with him like going through the barriers and stuff and fighting each guard in waves and getting the weapon a new weapon each time like first the knife and he chucked it which was very hunter can i say very hunter um din and hunter would get along very well um it was it was awesome to see that and then obviously he got like the the other weapons i can't remember i don't know the name the the i don't know what it's called i don't fucking know um the electric the electric thing um he got that and then he got like a pistol and all this kind of like it was just cool to see it kind of go through the waves um but yeah that was that was it guys that was mandalorian finale um i do still feel like i said there is a lot of questions still left to be answered um i also also i do want to say that i feel like I, it was nice to see ragnar get like properly bathed in the waters however we didn't get the reveal to him about his dad, which I think would have been like, it would have been really emotional and sad, but I feel like Paz and Ragnar, I think they deserve to be given that little bit of screen time of saying, hey, look, your dad was did this amazing sacrifice. You know, he was brave. He was wonderful. He was strong. I would have kind of liked to see that. They just kind of like passed over it as if like, oh, Paz Vizsla, who, who that, who that? Like nobody mentioned him after, not a single person, not even like Din, didn't, nobody like nobody knew nobody mentioned it um so a bit like hmm so yeah i feel like the next season is gonna have to answer a lot of questions like it's it's gonna have to go into the mythosaur it's gonna have to go into like pershing like what the fuck like we had all that stuff with pershing where he had his like memory fucked up and his brain go boo boo um like where is he what happened to him where 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 where's the outcome to that eliakin 
now that Moth Gideon is dead, I think she's gonna, like, I don't know, somehow work for Thrawn. Like, we might see her in, like, maybe the Ahsoka series, possibly. Um, then maybe she'll go and work for Thrawn. I have no idea. Um, but we just kind of, we they just kind of, Aliyah and Pershing just kind of disappeared. So I, I would assume we're going to see more of them next season. But yeah, it was, it was, it was an interesting season. Um, definitely not my favorite season. It has some of my like favorite episodes, like the Mythosaur. Well, some of my favorite scenes, like the Mythosaur reveal was absolutely epic. You know, Din adopting Grogu was like one of the top tier moments of eternity. But I, it's not, for me, it's not the strongest season, but that's okay. Not every show is going to have, like, a strong season. Like, it's not just going to keep getting better. Like, it's just, I enjoyed the season. I enjoyed every episode. There were some incredible, incredible moments. Um, and I'm really, really happy that, you know, we're still going. But I would have liked an end credit scene! Ah! <laughs> But also, I I I also forgot about like the uh, Grogu with like the Force and keeping the fire away from them. Like that was incredible. Like, and he didn't even like pass out after. He's learning. He's doing so well. He must have learned a lot with Luke. Like we know that apparently, according to I think it was John or Dave, I can't remember who said it, but one of them said that he was with Luke for two years. So that training has really paid off. So thank you, Luke Skywalker. Um, that was that was that was quite nice. So yeah, his his training is paid off. He was able to hold the, like the fire back and protect Din and Bo, which was so nice. I'm so glad that Bo didn't die as well. Bo was absolutely wonderful all season. I'm so I am really really glad that they put a lot of focus on her this season as well. Honestly, I I think that she deserved that um, because she is a queen, and now we have a bunch of Mandalorians, and we're we're gonna rebuild. So I think that's absolutely epic. I am so I am honestly I like. I am really, really happy, though, with the ending. I am so happy with how we got to see them actually be happy. Like, the end of the last season, we see Din crying. Like, what? No, nobody wants to see that. This time, we got to see him with his newly adopted son at their new house that got given to them by Grief, Car by, by Grief Karga, and he's just watching his kid play. He's just sitting there with his feet up, watching his kid play. Um... And I just think that that's really sweet and really adorable. And I'm very, very happy to see them both happy. It makes my heart so happy. Um, but yeah, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, and yeah, so from now on, we don't have anything to react to until Ahsoka. So I will be watching for the first time Star Wars Resistance. So I know Star Wars Resistance isn't for everybody, um, but I have not seen it. I've seen like one episode. Um... Um, however, I would like to catch up just for the sake of catching up and to give me something to react to. I will also be doing some reactions to some, um, like, fan-made stuff, fan-made, like, edits or, uh, fan-made movies, like, shorts, all that kind of stuff. So, um, keep an eye out for that as well. So, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. Um, I will also be soon playing Jedi Survivor on my Twitch channel and those videos will be getting uploaded to my second YouTube channel, which is linked on my channel um, like if you go to my main page, there should be a link to my gaming channel, which is literally just an unmonetized channel that I can upload all my VODs to. Um, and then I'll be probably posting some like funny moments, best bits, like reactions. Like you guys remember my Vader reaction from Jedi Fallen Order. Um, so there's gonna be a bunch of reactions up on this channel. So I know it's kind of annoying having it split up over like three different platforms, but Twitch is just for me to live stream it. My second channel youtube channel is to upload those vods for people who missed it so they can watch it easily um and then this channel will be for reactions and stuff so um yeah so make sure you subscribe and check out my twitter and instagram if you don't already follow me there and yeah i will see you guys in the next video so peace and may the force be with you this is the way